This is a short example just to show the power of the modifiers, of the Java access modifiers, and how we would use them. The class here, the tree class, should be quite familiar to you. We have used it several times in the past. It has two fields, the circumference and the number of fields, the number, excuse me, number of trees. The number of trees is a class variable, the circumference is an instance variable, it is uh, unique for every tree object. We have uh, a constructor and then we just have two accessors, one for the radius and one for the number of trees. And you see that inside the get radius we don't return just the circumference, the radius is different than the circumference, we're actually making a calculation and returning that value. Now, the tree maker class is, as we would say, a program, a legitimate program, a program that uses the tree class in the way that we would expect. What does it do? It creates a few uh, trees by using the random method from the math class and then using that math ra dot random for the circumference and then it prints how many trees were created. So if we uh, run this program, every time we run it we will not necessarily get exactly the same um, values, obviously because we are using the math dot random method, but it is not doing anything illegitimate. As we wait for for this to run, let's take a look at the tree dot faker. You see 13 trees with a variable um, number of in the radius. Now the tree faker does something very similar. The while loop is exactly the same as you, as you can see. However, it then trashes the number of trees value. No matter how many trees were created, it will make the number of trees value negative, minus 47 or whatever other value we want. So if we want to run the tree faker, we will see that no matter how many trees are created, it will report that minus 47 trees were actually created, which we know that this is not true. If we change the access modifier of the number of trees to private, then the tree faker class, you can already see marked as red, will not be able to access directly the number of trees. It will only be able to do it through the get number of trees, which is the way that we would like it to do. And for this reason it will not be able to trash it but it will report the correct number of trees through the getNumberOfTrees method.